Okay, so just went through a ton of phone calls. Everything from a newspaper interview that was going on 24 heures to uh, an insurance company, Hydro Quebec, Videotron, because we're moving this weekend. So I had to call all these people and spent basically all morning doing that. I am now on my way to go pick up Jesse and we're going to work on uh, some podcast stuff as well as just go to the garden center like I do every Wednesday to go uh, get their specials and we got some updates on their on their current uh, e-commerce website that we're building and stuff for them. So um, yeah, now I'm going on my way to pick up Jesse there. We're going to work on some stuff and it uh, should be interesting. With this man. What's up? How's it going? We got to get the chicken pox in. <laughs> Come on guys, it's the way to go. You know it, if you haven't had it before, you gotta check out Benny's, Chicken Boots In, it'll fatten you up. But man, slow we'll, you down. Man, it'll slow you down for sure. Make you hate yourself. But it will, it will make you smile at the end of it because you will know how good this Chicken Boots In is. Look at that greatness. Look at that. I had to have bites before I even vlogged it because it was too good. Too good. Chicken, sand, gravy, what the fuck more do you want in life? Nothing. Just absolutely nothing. Nothing. There's literally nothing more that you could possibly want in this world. Zero. <laughs> Santa Jardin Brassard. That means it's Wednesday. You gotta know it's Wednesday when I come here. And uh, taking more pictures of specials. Not too much going on this week in terms of specials, so it should be pretty easy. And then we're gonna do some 360 tours that you guys are gonna check out soon. That will be uh, that will be available very soon, very very soon. So Jesse and I are prepping a podcast. That's what we're trying to do anyway. We're uh, we're gonna launch a podcast that's gonna come out on a weekly basis, uh, if not more than weekly. And uh, we're looking for some vintage logos and stuff that we're trying to put together for it. Um, don't want to spoil it because it will come out fairly soon. But um, yeah, just working on that kind of. Uh, Slower day today, which is nice. And then, uh... Got the chicken poutine sweats. Oh, so I'm just crashing. <laughs> crashing hard. <laughs> Try to keep it going. I woofed the whole fucking thing down. I think he was like halfway through his, and, and I was I was done. You're and done. He, he didn't even finish it, his at this point. I didn't. Well done, though. I mean, I think he probably will feel better later tonight. <laughs> I will not. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Don't even talk about my birthday. Why are you talking about my birthday? It's August, man. I don't freaking know. You guys always living in the future. Too much in the future. We are here for Jordan's birthday. He's already watching TV. So this has been my grandma's house forever. My father grew up here uh, many, many years ago when, uh, when they came back from Italy. And uh, this is a room I used to always stay in when I used to come to my grandmother's house all the time, sleep over when she would babysit. The most impressive things that my grandmother does is that she grows her own garden. Look at these tomato plants. Flourishing already. Look at those tomatoes right there. And, uh, you know, she's 90 years old, but still kicking it. Everything from grapes, you got some grape, grape vines, all from the second floor, the two story high grape vines. You've got lettuces, cabbages, you've got a little bit of everything. Everything, everything. Look at the tomato plants, pepper plants over here. You've got all kinds of stuff. I think this might be even asparagus over here or something. I don't even know. My God. And then, if that wasn't enough, you've got a whole garden. You've literally got more grapes. And an entire tomato garden down over there. Look at that. Entire tomato garden. But then it continues onto the side of the house.
Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is self-sustaining. So the last time I was here making a video, uh, standing either on this rooftop or in that garden down over there, was uh, when I was a kid with my brother and my cousins, we were making a video called Two Tomatoes and a Pizza. One was a tomato that was coming and growing right from my grandmother's backyard. And the other was a tomato that was sold in a supermarket, but that was grown locally by a Quebec grower. And we took both those tomatoes and made them into a pizza that we made homemade. I had a great time doing it. We were working with, uh, it was my first time working with this guy called Robbie Hart. And uh, he actually produced the video for us. It was the first like exposure that I ever had to, to video and video editing and all that kind of stuff. And it's ironic because today, here I am videotaping again at my grandma's. I'm working out things with Robbie and his daughter to do some documentary stuff for Valhalla. And what's awesome is that, you know, my grandmother's still making those pizzas and we still have the garden growing. So it's funny how, you know, so much changes in life. We get older, things happen. People are born, people die, but some things just kind of stay the same. No matter how many times I come to my grandmother's house, she makes the same foods. Every year she grows the same plants, and and it's just it's just such a strange concept. So anyway, figured I'd give you guys a little bit of insight uh, into the last time I was filming here for real. Homemade pasta. Okay. Maybe and the meatballs. And the dolly and the TV. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jordan. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Even at my grandma's house, I gotta work doing another edit. So you buy a piece of land, and the first thing they do send you a bill for taxes. Always fun, Saint Jean Saint Michel. You're always fun. Uh, 11.35 and still in meetings, still working, still got stuff to do, just finished writing up a contract, got some other ones, some bills to send out for the first of the month, non-stop, non-stop. Anybody who thought being an entrepreneur is easy has got something else for them. But there are a lot of benefits, like my meeting spot is Tim Hortons.